Hey creative friends, remember when I talked in my other things you can do with your dehydrator video about how you can use it to raise your bread? I want to show you what I've got going here. So I made bread, I've got a loaf, and I've got some dinner rolls, and they're in there, but I also do have these specific uh, pieces of fabric that I surge the edge, and I dampen those, and I put those over, I'm trying to do this one-handed, I put those over to keep them from drying out, and then I set the dehydrator at about 100 degrees, and I let it go until those have risen as far as they're going to. Now I'm going to cover that one, and I'll bring you back when that's completely done. Okay, so this is ready to come out, and looky here. Perfect. So I'm going to take those out, and then, oops, sorry about that. I'm going to take my loaf out, and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, I've got these out of the dehydrator, and I have these fabric, these are just fat quarters that I edged, and I keep these specifically to cover my bread when it's rising, so that I can wet this with, um, not wet, but I make it damp with warm water, and that keeps the crust from um, getting crusty on top of the rolls. <laughs> that one turned out bad. But now what I'm going to do, I was going to add a whole bunch of like oatmeal and stuff to this one, I just forgot when I started putting it in the pan. So what I'm going to do... I've got an egg wash, which is just egg white with a little water mixed up, and I've got that terrific everything uh, bagel seasoning, and I'm going to cover the top of my rolls with this egg wash, and then I'm going to put that seasoning on there, and now these will go in the oven for 375. I actually just intended this to be um, for you guys to see it rising in the dehydrator. But hey, let's just show how it turns out in the end, shall we? So now, I'm going to sprinkle this on. These are going to be great. Sometimes I make the rolls and then I decide what we're having for dinner so that we can eat the rolls with it because they look so good. Okay, I might as well do this to the bread also. See how pretty that is? Look at that nice. And now I'm going to cover the bread. And I'll take the rolls out. They'll cook quicker than the bread, obviously, because they're smaller. But let's put this wash on here. And then we're just going to cover this with this seasoning. So nice. And what falls down beside will kind of just get stuck in there as it bakes, which is awesome. These are going to be really good for dinner. Okay. Look at that pretty loaf. All right, so I'm going to put these in the oven, and I will bring you back when they're done. All right, these cooked for 20 minutes, and the bread is going to go for about 10 more. And don't those look good? Yeah, they were a little bit big, but hey, ooh, those are hot. That's what's going to make them wonderful. And I already went around with a knife and divided them where they're stuck, stuck together, but... Actually, what I, you know what, I'm not going to cover these with a, a towel. You know how I wrap the towel so that the crust is soft? Because I like a crusty dinner roll. So these look so good. Oh my gosh, those are going to be amazing. So now i got to figure out what we're going to have with dinner so that we can have these rolls. Woo, those are hot. So there they have them. I'm going to let those cool. And I'll show you when I bring out the bread. And I love this everything bagel seasoning on there it's just going to make so perfect so there you have it there's the rolls and i'll see you in a few minutes when the bread is done okay my bread is out and it looks uh, so good so let me show you so there's the crust and i do want this crust to be softer so i did get my little towel out and now what i'm going to do i'm going to pull this out of the pan Ooh, pan is hot and I'm just gonna take this loaf and I'm gonna wrap it in this towel. It kind of holds that steam in while it's cooling and it keeps the crust from being uh, too crusty. So there you go. There it is and there's my rolls and there's my bread. And I think that looks good and I can't wait to try them for dinner. And let me open one of these rolls for you. Look at that, so good. Oh, it's still steaming. That is a delicious roll. And that's going to be great bread for sandwiches. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.